I wasn't gonna go to the Beyonce concert looking like sexy red. <laughs> Stop what you're doing and come, come for me. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It's your girl Jay, and we are back. I didn't vlog for a week just because things got a little chaotic, and I had to get things back together and get them back on track but we are back um you guys if you are new here thanks so much for sliding through and if you're returning thanks for coming to kick it with your girl once more make sure that you like comment and subscribe before you go anyway so you guys we're back i uh went to atlanta over the weekend to work it was a complete fail let me tell you so i went to i only go back to atlanta for two things three things one to go take my baby like to see her grandma and stuff like that and i'll let her stay for a couple days two see my man and three to work so i went back to atlanta we booked tickets we flew we got in on friday and it was just a mess from there there was an issue with the rent a car and then i was going to my friend shanice's house and her dude was there and then it just I got I got one client in, my other client canceled. Then with the concert, so many people were trying to get their appointments sooner. The only thing that I accomplished was my daughter got to see her grandma, but I, that 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 don't require a full blown trip. You see what I'm saying? That's something I do. Like okay, I'm in Atlanta already. Let me do this. But yeah. I really, really wasted a lot of money, a lot of time, but um, I did get to see Beyonce. My man wasn't even there. I did get to see Beyonce, though. You guys, I went to go see Beyonce, and when I tell you, uh, my experience was real mediocre. It was. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. My experience was not the best. What? It was not the best. But the reason it was not the best is because it just wasn't planned. It was really, really spontaneous. It was really on some, me and my friend, we was like, let's go to the Beyonce concert. We got whatever tickets we could find. The seats were trash, which we ended up going to different seats. It was just, it was a lot, but, oh, and I couldn't see. Y'all know I'm blind as a bat, and I wasn't gonna go to the Beyonce concert looking like Sexy Red, no shade to the girlies that wear glasses. That's not my tea. Like, and I didn't have my contacts. That's not my tea. Like, I'm not, I'd rather be blind. So, I didn't really get to see anything because I can't see far. So, she, Beyonce literally looked like she was this big to me. So, uh, it was just, I don't even want to share my experience for real because I'm going again. So, Beyonce is supposed to be in Tampa tomorrow. I want to do that and I what I just might have to go by myself which I'm totally not opposed to you guys know I will rock out with my cock out by myself so I think I'm gonna go alone and if I do go alone then you know I'll do the full renaissance you know experience get there early because I didn't even get there early we got there and she was already singing dangerously in love you see what I'm saying like so I missed being able to see the merch I missed you know getting to engage with the people around me in the seats it was just it was just a whole lot of mediocrity. Is that a word? I don't know, child. So we're back here. So today, as you guys see, I got my hair. Got the, got the inches in. I did this last night on video, but it's not going to get posted because the lighting sucked. But um, got the inches in. This hair is actually from Wig Dealer. Um, this hair is just top tier it's like literally my favorite like it's my favorite i want some layers but i also don't want to chop on this hair so i think i'm just asking them to like let's do a collaboration let's let's work again but i want some hair that's gonna stop like right here i know my hair stops there but i want it to be like full like this so i don't know but i have to go search down a package i have this brand that i work with oftentimes send me a package and um i don't have an apartment number on there so it's literally just here so i gotta go down to the leasing office and tell them that my package got delivered here but it didn't have the right address and i told them that it needs to be signed for i said i told them when you send the package make sure it has to be signed for do you think they listened nope so such is life so we got to do that um 
and then i'm gonna go to the mall across the street just because i need to go start uh, back to school shopping for ava in the city that we're moving to they start school on the 28th so i need to start back to school shopping i need to get my nails done uh and yeah so let me go ahead and put some clothes on we're gonna get our day started and i'm gonna take a picture with this hair too so we're gonna do that so let me go put some clothes on we are back we are back i got on my little cool mom shirt and some black biker shorts i don't really have a lot of clothes here so it's like i'm kind of recycling clothes but i swear they're clean but um so yeah we're about to get going run some errands what did i say we were gonna do today we're about to go to the leasing office get my package then we're gonna go to the mall no nail salon then the mall because these nails baby and so y'all i got my car fixed my car i no longer look like i have a 1992 nissan maxima with 236,000 miles on it i got it fixed over the weekend um i don't know if i talked about it but like maybe like a week ago when i was at a red light this guy approached me and he was like you know i can fix your car he was low key kind of trying to holla but i wasn't going for that and so he was like yeah i can fix your car and so i was like okay so then i pulled up on him at his body shop and he told me he was like yeah i'll fix it for six hundred dollars and i want to take you out and i was like how about i give you a thousand and we don't go out so that's what happened so he was like yeah i can have it fixed in two days and i was like he blowing smoke so i dropped the car off before i went to atlanta on friday sure as the sky comes up in the morning that car was ready by the time i got back my car looked brand new because y'all i felt like such a chicken head hopping out a beat up ass mercedes like that was just so ugh. but we're back in the game we're back good to go i've learned my lesson no more parking on the street if i can't park in the parking lot then i can't park there so and that's uh um the reason too like when i be going out i don't be wanting to drive my car because it's like i i be thinking people be thinking like she thinks she cute that beat up ass mercedes <laughs> so that's why i haven't been like driving it when i go out and stuff like because i just i just be feeling it so i might take my baby to the car wash because she's just she looks so good like she just looks like when i first got her and i just <sighs> Alright y'all, let's go ahead and let's bounce. Mm, hey y'all. It's a whole lot later at night and I'm eating late because I don't ever want my back to not be big, right? I just want to have a big back for the rest of my life, right? Because of course, why else would I be eating Moe's at 12.51? in the morning not even at night in the morning and i am be honest i haven't even really been doing nothing well that's not all the way true i had filmed a video earlier today i was supposed to go check out this place called um i i lounge or my my lounge orlando or something like that i was supposed to do that but um i literally got distracted because i filmed for that and then i realized oh tomorrow's wednesday and i want to start posting like every wednesday or thursday and i don't have a vlog to post tomorrow so i need to have something you know and then tomorrow i'm going to be busy in the daytime so i won't really have time to edit so i was like okay well let me just try to hurry up and edit this next thing you know hours have passed and i went nowhere so There's that, so now here I am, eating a one in the morning. Um, Y'all know what I hate? Let me say this. I hate, and this isn't always the instance. Let me get some juice, hold on. Mm. I have not opened that refrigerator once since I've been back. That's the first time I've opened it since I've been back. I'm crazy. Right, so what I hate is I hate younger guys who hate on women. I hate 
younger guys or guys my age or whatever that hate on women like myself and younger for dating older men and they'll be like oh y'all just go to yours y'all just want a man with money da, 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 da. now i can't say that i can't speak for all women my age that are in instances that date older men but i can only speak for myself and i hate when they say like I'm with an older guy because he has money because let me let me just be the one to tell y'all right now even if it was a younger guy he gonna have something going for himself even if he's a younger guy it doesn't matter um the age that's just the preference the money is gonna come regardless you know that's just like a given you know i feel like once you are a certain way you're gonna attract a certain type of person and don't get me wrong, I do get approached by some men who, you know, might not have it together. But majority of men that approach me got it together. What do you want me to do? You know? Hell. What, what can I do? And let's be clear. I've dated men. Who didn't have a bunch of money but i didn't stop dating them because they were didn't have a bunch of money i stopped dating them because they wasn't shit that's totally unrelated if i was dating the older guy and he had a bunch of money and he wasn't shit i wouldn't be dating him either hasn't it's totally unrelated it has nothing to do with one each other so one another so i hate when they make that correlation and like i said i can't speak for all women but i can speak for myself listen old young middle age the money's gonna come either way and i work it's not like i'm one of those girls who's afraid to work i work like i don't shy away from working and making my own money so i'm not doing 50 50 but i work i make my own money so and they say who drinks orange juice at one in the morning i love orange juice orange juice is my life so yeah i really shouldn't be eating this but it's so good i'm still boycotting chick um chipotle i think i told you that earlier mm, mm, mm. most ought to be ashamed of they shall make this food so good mm. got to be more careful all right y'all so i guess i'll see y'all tomorrow tomorrow we're going to the gym we're gonna we're gonna give this another go i know i know i know it's like i keep on i know it's balance it's balance i eat late i go to the gym early it's balance you know i'm gonna burn at least 400 calories tomorrow this is probably 800 but i'm gonna burn four tomorrow early in the morning and then yeah all right good night guys guys good morning you guys welcome back Whew. i have been up for a minute it's 11:30. I swear I thought I was going to the gym today, but it didn't happen. I ended up sitting on the phone, cackling and laughing with my boo. I look a mess right now, but y'all, I've been doing these Monet Mike, Monet, Monet McMichael curls that I saw. That's the girl on TikTok that I saw. I've been doing these curls in the morning. When I tell you they eat, watch, like they're so good, so, so good. And I just use my bathroom, you know, and anything quick and easy for me to do real quick and i can sleep normal yeah it's definitely for me so um i'm just gonna take these curls out i'm starving but i don't want to eat anything like fattening for real so um there's this place called Hamp hampton social that i think i'm gonna go to um it's near like i think orlando city walk or something like that i'm not sure um, I've been there before a while ago, so I think I'm gonna go there and just get me a little something to munch on. Oh, did it curl good? It curled I right. It was better yesterday. I haven't really mastered it. Yeah, I like when the curls drop anyway. So I'm um, thinking I'm gonna go to Hampton Social and then um, yesterday I went to the mall but I was really just going to the mall to like see and then get stuff for Ava for like back to school but today I really need to get like some like leisure clothes like clothes just to wear like on the day to day 
um it's like i want to order some from offline but i don't want to have to wait and then i think like it's not the, i don't need nothing urgent it's not like i really be going anywhere but at the same time i just want stuff i think i just really am in the mood to shop i think that's what it is i'm not sure i need to be going to madonna need to find a couch for my new place maybe that's what we'll do but for now we're gonna find some food and why is it like that plane is just flying at such a slow pace but um for now we're just gonna find some food and then we're gonna go to the furniture store and go from there so come on y'all let's go oh you guys it is literally like so hot outside like oh my gosh it's 92 degrees right now so um i just left Publix. i had decided not to go out to eat i think i'm just gonna make some food i'm gonna make some lunch and then um just go from there i'm not gonna waste any unnecessary money especially when i am about to spend so much in the next couple of days but um i want to tell y'all jokes so i was having this conversation um and they were they were basically saying like all men cheat like it's it's na it's natural like all men cheat and i'm like no it's not natural all men do not cheat and so they were like okay name one person that you know one man that you know that does not cheat and i want y'all to think about this too name one man that you know that has never cheated in their life like name one man and so i was thinking to myself and i was like my daddy my daddy ain't never cheated in his life and they were like no i don't know I, I don't know about that and i'm like whoa whoa not too much of my daddy now because my daddy is a good man he ain't never cheated in his life so they was like okay and so when they asked me to you know think of a man i just could not think of a man i went down my list in my um my contacts list and i out of all the men that i know like everybody has either cheated i know is a player or i know it's just out here i don't know any men so I was like, you know what? Hold the phone. Mute your phone. I'm about to call my daddy and I'm gonna have him on three way and I'm gonna ask him, has he ever cheated before? And so I called him and I was like, daddy, I gotta ask you a question. He was like, what's up? He, he called me Mooch. He was like, what up Mooch? And I was like, um, have you ever cheated before? Mind you, the person is on three way. My daddy was like, yeah, Jay, back in the day. I said, no, oh my gosh this whole time i've been talking about my daddy a good man my daddy this my daddy that and my daddy was like yeah it was a long time ago i was a teenager i was like daddy it was only one time though right he was like nah it was like three times i was like what no oh my god ain't that crazy though i don't know a single man who has not cheated not even a single one do y'all know a single man who has never cheated in their life like never i don't know any is that a reflection of me? Damn. Like my brother, hell no. My brother, ooh boy. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Mm. My uncle. Nah. You see what I'm saying? I don't know nobody who ain't cheated. No no men who has not, have not cheated. I just think that is so bizarre. We live in such a crazy time. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Good morning, you guys. Another day. Another vlog tail i don't know but you guys it is thursday and i'm off to a very very late start i literally just got out of bed and started moving around i woke up around like eight o'clock i actually woke up to my boo he called me he was like you're wait you're taking too long to wake up do you want to go to new orleans this weekend i'm like well hell yeah run that so um i know i originally planned to go to miami to possibly go to beyonce but i don't think beyonce gonna do her big one in miami so i don't really want to go there i think i want to try for houston houston's going to be lit first of all performing in your hometown it's gonna be lit so i am going to try to spring for like houston if not houston then definitely like cali but um yeah so i am going to potentially be going to new orleans the flight is more expensive than i would like for a quick trip that's why i told him i was like if i'm gonna spend this on a flight sorry if you're gonna spend this on a flight then let's go somewhere else so we started looking into like montego bay putacano those are like our last minute quick flight places because you can get there in less than three hours but it just didn't make sense it really didn't make sense 
and you guys will see this is literally how we are like we'll be chilling one day and then the next day it's like let's go here and that's just kind of how our lives go and ava sometimes she'd be down for it we'd be like come on y'all let's go here we in the air so that's just how things be going we don't really plan much because i mean honestly you only live once so you, tomorrow's not promised you can plan all day long and you won't be here the next day so i am actually really really hungry i didn't make it to the gym again today i should be ashamed of myself i don't know why i'm just so not motivated like i'm not motivated motivated to go to the gym like like two weeks ago i was going every single day y'all remember i was going every single day it's like when i went back to atlanta and i came back i was just on a whole different frequency and i have not been motivated to go to the gym so um we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get back right next week monday we're gonna get back right yes i'm about to make some breakfast real quick and then we're gonna shoot up out of here i need to go and try to find a few um outfits for new orleans and i'm taking y'all with me so um yeah let me hurry up and cook so we can eat and we can dip one second Friday morning and we are about to head to the airport I just got done cleaning up and I put the uh, clip-ins back in my hair and did like a little one-two real quick um yeah so we're about to head to the airport so the um that mint green set that I got from Target yesterday the bottoms fit but I just would like for them to be a little bit more lax so I'm about to run to Target and exchange those for a bigger size um just because yeah i just don't I, I, I don't want anything to be like super tight fitting giving me love handles and all that crap because who got time to be who got time for that i need to hurry up and get up out of here my flight is at 11 it's eight o'clock so hopefully i'll be to target around like 8 15 be out of there by like 8 30 and then on my way to the airport and hopefully security is in a zoo today because orlando airport like to cut up sometimes so, alright y'all. Alright you guys, we in a car. I left, I just left Target. Um, and I didn't realize that I don't board until 10.20. Like, I thought I board, I don't know why I thought I boarded at like 9 something. So, it's 8.30 right now. We're a little early. So, I'm about to go ahead and go to Dunkin'. I would get, I would get like coffee at the airport. But the thing that I hate about the, um, Orlando Airport is that all the food is outside of security so it's like if I get a drink or something like that I can't take it through the gates I can't take it through like security with me so yeah that is literally the most annoying thing about um, the Orlando Airport I don't know why that is I yeah I can't believe we're so early responsible me should just go to Dunkin go to CVS and go straight to the airport but no y'all know I'm gonna try to bust a move before it's time to go to the airport and then I'm gonna end up rushing and then I'm gonna end up panicking and I'm gonna sweat my hair out and my clips gonna be on the floor but honestly that's just the type of life I live baby that's the life I live that's just the type of life I live little mama Ooh. now I'm gonna be responsible Okay, you guys, so we made it on the plane and I am literally loaded. Okay, first of all, loaded. So, it was a delay with boarding, so I went to the bar and had a mimosa. So, we're just sitting here, waiting to take off. I have a one hour layover in Atlanta. I wish it was like two, three hours so I can go see my baby real quick. Mama's here on Saturday, so. Whatever. Our boarding door is now closed. You may continue 
y'all heard that it's time for us to go i'm about to listen to the rest of this drake album why did i not bro i'm trying to, I'm trying to talk Here's our new room. <laughs> I was gonna mess up <laughs> so we brought he brought some liquor so we got some got some what's this got the anejo and then um why did you leave the anejo in here who are y'all happy saturday it's saturday and it is around like noon um we literally laid in bed all day so far because last time we went out we had a really good time last night i didn't um record or anything like that because i just wanted to enjoy the moment tonight i'm gonna record and i'm gonna put y'all on all the best spots to go to when you in you know i'm about to do my hair real quick we're about to um go get lunch from this place called a Kitty or something y'all hear that sound that's my that is my, um, what you call it, slippers. They're sticking on this floor. It's so annoying. Let me see. Let's see if I put a towel down. Okay, yeah, that's better. So, yeah, we're about to go to this place called Akiti. Every time we come here, I feel like we go to the same places. And what's crazy, my memory is, like, shot. Like, I can never remember anything. But him, baby, he remembers every single thing. So, um, I forgot that we had came here before and um the place akiti or whatever i think that's the name of it but they got really good hookah though they got good hookah and i had totally forgot that they got good hookah there so i'm like hell yeah let's go there so that's where we're about to go right now i'm just throwing some curls in my hair this hair is like dirty as hell so it's not even trying to curl no more but I want some like really like long loose curls. I don't want them to be like super, you know, high up or anything. Um, yeah, so last night was so fun. We ended up going to this strip club called, um, it's a Hustler strip club. Y'all know like the magazine or whatever. Yeah, we went there. When I tell you, I it's been so long since I've been to a strip club and seen I don't even want to call that place like a strip club. That was like legit like a gentleman's club. Because it's like the girls, like they were very sensual. Whereas like in Atlanta, it's like real like in your face, ass, titties. You know, it's like really, really in your face. This place, like the girls was really like sensual. Like they were so like, I don't know, it was really feminine. And then, I mean, they was all natural too. Like none of them had like fake bodies, like, um, like bbls or if they did have bbls they were like more natural as opposed to atlanta you know it's like the bigger the butt the bigger the bag so um 
yeah they were like all natural nobody had like fake buds like i was just so amazed i was laughing and joking i was like babe i'm hard right now <laughs> y'all they was it was so nice like the girls was like really really like petite okay they was really petite they was cute so um we ended up doing the champagne room so they danced for us for like one song i think it was like a song or whatever eighty dollars i was like damn y'all out here making money with your little natural bodies but um yeah after that we just was like walking around and stuff it was really cute a cute vibe um at first i wasn't even really feeling it like i was feeling so sick i had that food from um willies and it was so good but i feel like i had overeaten I, I ate too much so i wasn't really feeling that good i'm gonna put some hairspray and so i think i'm gonna put that jumpsuit on even though it's a little hot outside but i think i'm gonna put that on either that or no i'm putting that on because i could put on that green athletic set but i was really planning to wear that to the airport so I'm gonna just stick to my original plan and just put on that um the de the full denim outfit all right y'all I'm gonna pick this back up once we get to the spot so I can show y'all the best who good in New Orleans so this hookah is literally the best hookah in Orlando like not Orlando <laughs> New Orleans, it's so good. The food here is really good too. We got some uh, shrimp fries, which is basically shrimp and fries. Um, you don't know why they just didn't put shrimp and fries. And then I ordered like this pizza, or whatever. But let me go because I'm gonna get copyrighted because of the music. Bye. I'm about to play this game, and so it's gonna test to see if I know all the lyrics to a song. So basically, the rules is you got you have to. What is it? You have to. Okay, so you're gonna play a song. You gotta pick any song that you know every single lyric to, where you think you know every single lyric to. And if you mess up on the lyric, then you get some water dropped on you. So, I'm gonna do Pussy Fairy. Can't wait, Pussy Fairy's on the way. Can't get enough of me, yeah. Just up in the springtime. Okay. That's not the version I was talking about. <laughs> 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 I said that a lot. Babe. But now that was a cute little um way to get us started for the night. I'm about to Am I gonna get a shower? Yeah, again. Yeah, I took a shower earlier, but I'm gonna get in the shower again because I wanna do a look, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm about to get in the shower, get dressed. We're gonna go get some food really quick from across the street. And then we're gonna get our night started. I can't take y'all everywhere we go tonight. <laughs> Y'all ready to wiggle hard, bitch? Y'all ready? All right, right here. Let's go. Right here. Gallery, the art galleries, but they didn't look like any of them were open on Sundays. So 
I think that uh, we missed we miss that. Which, whatever. See, so yeah, after this, we're just gonna head back to the room. I need to get packed up because my flight's not until six, but it's it's one o'clock. I want to get packed up because I, I do want to go to the pool and see what the pool looks like. You know, it's very humbling to come to cities like this, especially when you see so much homelessness and stuff like that. So, a very humbling trip. But I just love how everything is so like authentic, like it's like old French style, you know. Like they didn't try to like make everything modern or whatever. Like you feel like you're actually in a French bakery. Mm. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick the up once we get to what we're doing next. It's so hot and it's so hard to carry the camera and do this at the same time. And like. Um, when I was walking, somebody asked, it was like, you're not like afraid to like be out here by yourself like recording and I'm like, no, you just gotta be aware of your surroundings. Like, don't be out here really thinking that don't nobody want what you got. So, just pay attention to your surroundings. Don't be listening to the music in your ears. You gotta be able to hear footsteps and pay attention to shadows, girl. But yeah, let me pick this back up in a bit. It has been so long. I don't even want to tell y'all how long it's been since I picked up the camera. But so much has happened and nothing has happened at the same time. So much of nothing has happened in the past like week and a half. Let me get y'all run down because I don't know if I'm going to keep the New Orleans um, footage in there. So I went to New Orleans. We had a great time. Great, great time. Went out. Got drunk. Slept in. I had a little day to myself. Went out. Saw the city. And then um, we ended up coming back. Now when I came back, I came back to a shitstorm. So the city that I'm supposed to be moving to, the place that we we're supposed to be moving to literally this week, it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. And so I'm just having a ton of different complications, just trying to come up with some additional plans and stuff like that and just get things in order. So it's just been a super chaotic week. I've been drinking a lot. Anyway, so um, yeah, we're still here in Florida. Apparently it's hurricaning outside, but I do need to go to Target because I need soap, cleaning supplies, and I need a coffee. I've really been needing a coffee. Um, I haven't eaten today yet, but it's okay. I'm kind of on like this intermittent, intermittent, intermittent fasting kick right now, so I'm trying not to eat that much throughout the day. Um, drink a lot of water and stuff, but I think tomorrow, um, starting tomorrow, I want to get back on like another fruit diet. I'm gonna try again because I don't have no. Ex Labor Day weekend. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> Scratch that. So, yeah, we need to go to the store. Um, Y'all like my outfit? So, I picked this up from Target. You guys, Target is having a sale on all of their activewear. I don't know if it's um, just here, but they're having a sale on all of their activewear. And check this. It's not on the clearance rack. Okay, so you literally have to go to the item in Target, the active wear set in Target that you want, scan it on the app, and it's going to show you how much the price actually is. I spent over like $150 in Target um, the day before yesterday in active wear sets, y'all. I got like one, two, three, I got like five active wear sets at Target. And... No, that was activewear sets, and I got some joggers for Ava. Yeah, I made out good um, the other day in Target. So yeah, I definitely recommend just go in there, even if it's not on the clearance rack, just go look, and maybe having that little yellow sticker on it. Well, I just tossed the one for this, but I think original price, this was like close to like 50, um, 50 or $60. I got this for like 30. What? You cannot beat that. So yeah, I'm gonna go in Target. I really should go to Walmart, so I'm not tempted to go in um, buy more shit but uh i'm a target girl so we gotta go to target y'all it is legit like hurricaning outside okay it's not hurricaning but it's some strong winds yesterday though yesterday was a hurricane so um we're gonna be safe target's not far though and oh y'all like my hair yes 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 your girl got her hair braided well, not got her hair braided, but I recently had a hair sponsorship that I had to knock out. That also, that, what are these words that I'm making up? That also took up a lot of my time. It doesn't take a long time for me to actually braid my hair. It only took me like seven and a half hours. Um, but I had to do it over the course of two days because I need the natural lighting. 
So yeah, that took two days. And then it took me a full day to even edit it because it's seven and a half hours worth of footage that I have to condense into like 20 minutes because I don't like those tutorials to be too long. <gasps> Nonetheless, the video went up yesterday and is doing great. Love that. Um, we have another sponsorship coming up, so I'm not going to be able to keep these braids in super long. So I'm really going to try to pump out as much, you know, content with these braids as possible. Just to kind of promote my video that I put up. Yeah, so let's go ahead and peel on out of here, you guys. Let me put my shoes on. Come on, let's go. Um, everybody in the parking garage is at home <laughs> should i not be going out here right now like why is everybody so at home I... ain't nobody tell me nothing like if you don't have live tv like live cable i see how you can literally get caught in a hurricane because like where are you supposed to... where are the alerts like you know my phone is on georgia so like where are the alerts where's where's the warnings right I decided instead of going to Target, I'm gonna go to Walmart. And the reason I'm gonna go to Walmart is because A, it's cheaper. Two, I'm less tempted in Walmart. I just know if I go in Target, something's gonna happen where I wind up over by the athletic section and the lounge room section and stuff. And I saw this cute jockey sleep, um, two piece sleepwear um, little thing that I want too. And I've seen it twice. I've seen it twice. And so I got my eyes on it. My heart is set on it. I, I still might go get it. But if I go today, that's my last straw. I'm getting it today. And yeah, I'm getting it today. And I don't even like to sleep and stuff like that. So I don't even know why I would even want to get that. But I want to get it. Anyway, y'all, my spirits are so low. Like, y'all probably can't tell. But my spirits are so low. Like, I need a good, like... Okay, I know I just came off of vacation, but I need like a good like session with my girls. You know, like a session where me and my friends get together and we just literally sit around talk and bullshit. Like I need another one of those. But my friends just really are being very, very hard to like. They're not being easy people to like get together. It's like everybody is and rightfully so. Everybody's just so set in their like lives and situations where it's just hard to get them to just want to do something fun i love my friends to death i just wish that they would want to move around and do something like <sighs> when i'm upset and i'm and i won't say sad when i'm like in my in my way or whatever or i'm in my head i like to surround myself with my girls whereas a lot of my friends when they in that way they like to surround themselves around their men and I don't blame them. I really, really don't blame them. But that's just not the way I'm wired, you know? I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm gay. Shit. <laughs> no, but I just need a good girls' night. I used to have girls' nights all the time. I need to grow up. That's what I need to do. It's not like I want to go out all the time. It's just that I just want to spend some time with my girls. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> But, I mean, we're all getting older and everybody goes in their own thing. And I'm not going to be selfish and just be like, stop what you're doing and come, come for me. I'm not going to be like that. And, you know, that's a good, that's, that's why it's important to practice, you know, solitude. So you're able to, so you don't form like these codependencies on people. Like, even though I'm in my way, I can be by myself and still be fine. I'm just talking about what I would really, really want. But um, other than that, yeah, Ava's birthday is coming up. We're going to Punta Cana for her birthday. Um, I really, really want it to be for her actual birthday, like on her birthday. But, you know, she's going to have school. And um, so I went and got her passport pictures taken yesterday. That girl cracks me up. Why her passport picture look just like her daddy mugshot? <laughs> they look so much alike. Like, that girl looked just like that man. That, she don't look like she's seen me a day in her life. She looks just like that man. So we went and got the passport, um, the passport pictures taken yesterday. And, um, yeah, so I filled out the application and all. But I'm not going to send it in the regular way. Like, I'm taking her to the expediting agency. And it's a little bit more difficult when one parent is incarcerated. Um, like, you have to have, like, these additional forms um, just to 
you know not that he's not that Ava's been abandoned but just proof that he's like in prison you know it's just a, it's a big it's a bit different than if you just got the dad there it's like it's an extra step and that extra step is annoying as hell because who wants to have to do that but I gotta do what I gotta do so I mean today is Wednesday hopefully I'll be able to get that accomplished today as far as like um I need to book the hotel because she wants to stay at the Nickelodeon hotel so I need to book the hotel um book our flights get do everything that we need to do earn some more money mm. so I just really want to be intentional and on purpose with that I don't want to run behind because Ava is a type has a type a personality and so she is very like deadline driven like she's very like she's very like you know y'all know what I mean so and it's crazy to have a mom like me that is a serial type B gotta be irritating for her so yeah yeah you guys so we got to run in Walmart real quick I gotta go to Dunkin give me a coffee Ava wants something from Dunkin too she is such a pumpkin spice girl and so I do give her coffee but I make sure that it's decaf um how I see it shit the girl is already almost damn six feet I doubt it's gonna stunt her growth. I really, really doubt it. In fact, that might be the problem. Shit. But um, I do give, I do allow her to have like decaf. Not often, but she's definitely like a pumpkin spice girl, or a pumpkin spice girly. She likes to say she. So yeah, she was like, "Can you bring me a pumpkin spice latte?" say it's the last of y'all gonna see me today but this might be the last that y'all see of me today just in case i really do thank everybody for staying on and watching my crazy crazy all over the place vlog you guys make sure that you do subscribe before you go check out my latest hair video if that's your thing and i will see you guys in the very next video i'll probably still be wearing these i don't know but i'll see y'all in the next video bye